I love this look. We're about to start. I am not happy. This is not what we signed up for. Well, it's a bit disappointing. I've been waiting for you to be ready for an hour. Oh. I've been working emails, the world doesn't stop when you're doing your Facebook Live makeups. Um, our first wedding anniversary. Is that okay? Yeah, why, why, are, you, why are you calling? Because I'm going to be early in case you were doing something secret. No, babe, no secrets from you. Oh. I am on my way downtown to get ready because I'm hosting the red carpet for Access Hollywood as I do with all their award shows and it's very exciting. But I'm extra nervous today because I've never done one of these pregnant. You stand in heels for mm, four to five hours. You gotta think quickly on your feet interviewing the next person that comes along. Um, and I'm worried about no pee breaks. I'm worried about welled up feet and I also haven't decided on a dress yet usually I have all this figured out well in advance but because of the bump I've got two options the third option didn't even zip up I get sent these big research packs from Access Hollywood um, and I'm mainly interested in the fashion Nicole Kidman is always awesome she's always really funny and her and Keith Urban are the cutest couple ever so hopefully I'll get to talk to them Claire Foy from The Crown, I would love to meet. I've never met her and I love that show. Reese Witherspoon, she's always really fun. This is where it all happens. You can see some trailers behind me. Huge entrance hallway. And I'm actually happy because usually the Emmys are boiling hot and sweaty and gross. And it's actually quite nice and cloudy at the moment. Um, so I'm heading in for hair and makeup. You guys, remember Tommy. <laughs> and Mandy. Hello! So, so we are halfway through hair and makeup. Just finishing up. Hello! I love this look. I'm obsessed. Yes! Thank you! Always need my water, my camera. These cover the nips. Very important. My jewelry's in here two pairs of shoes because I'm still not sure what I'm wearing and my um, Emmy's credentials you need that to get onto the carpet always take my banana and that's my peanut butter on toast and that is how exciting and rock and roll backstage at the Emmy's is oh and flip-flops because as soon as I've walked the carpet I switch into these four hours of standing right I'm ready to go oh look who it is it's the Louise. boss oh my Louise. this is the boss Louise looks so beautiful <laughs> don't forget these yeah. <laughs> what are they babe inside out carrot cake cookies <laughs> here we go feel a sense of accomplishment because I managed not to pee in the <laughs> entire four-hour show which is amazing I've got my snacks cookies for the road and now I am going straight to meet Mackenzie and do a photo shoot in my dress Next stop, sweatpants, couch, and then we can watch the Emmys. Yeah. 
Good morning. It is uh, super early, about 6.30, and I am off to the Access Hollywood studio to do my um, post Emmys roundup live, and um, just on Sunset Boulevard. And then we're going straight to the airport to Boston, which I'm very excited about. I haven't been there since I was a teenager, and um, I can't wait. This is the best part about doing award shows is that they do a mega mega breakfast the next morning French toast dinner. and we don't normally get all this so um, it's oh my gosh yes so I tried on a few dresses and <laughs> again nothing fits but I love this so I'm gonna go with this I'll show you the side view on that mirror I just love this color um and I had to just quickly do a, a quick bit of filming which interrupted my breakfast. So I'm going to go back out and have my second pancake. I've got like two minutes to eat my... Five, you hear that? Five minutes to air. I've got my eggs. I've got my Earl Grey tea. I'm just going over my Emmy's notes and we have a few pictures as well from last night. It was a great red carpet. Actually, best dressed cast has never been a category for us. We completely yes. made it up because Big Little Lies, yes. every single leading female just knocked it out of the ballpark. No, babe, it's all about the different dress, and this one is all about hands on the waist. So Which way to rock it? We're going to give a grade to the red carpet last night at the Emmys. What would it be? Emmys class 2017. I'm going to go B plus. Okay, I know it's not an A, but you've got to work far hard for that A, and I think it wasn't Golden Globe standard. That being said, it was very impressive, a wash with colour and very sexy plunging gowns. Right. Professor Rowe! Yeah. I am not happy. So I went straight from the studio to the airport because I was trying to be sensible. Got here ugh, super early and the flight, we're going to Boston is three hours delayed and counting because there's a storm there. I am the most tired person ever. All I want to do is sleep and I'm grumpy and everyone around me is annoying and loud, except for him. Oh, oh my God, I just started filming and yawned. So we made it to Boston by about 2.30 a.m. But we got here safely. I'm just not very good at being tired at the best of times. And um, I think that normally you're like, oh, well, I'll catch up on sleep next week, never mind. Or I'll just, you know, pep up with a tequila. But I think when there's someone else on board, I feel a bit guilty about being so overtired and run down. So I'm definitely going to make an effort to be more, um, relax next week we'll be back in LA and um, I think I'm just gonna I don't know book a massage or something uh, it's raining here in Boston but we're excited to be here I just got my hair done so that's good because we've got to do loads of shooting right now we're working with um, Marriott and they've got a really cool hotel right on the water and I'm so tired that I just wrote a list of Um, instead of sending the email to myself, because I, I do that a lot with lists, I bloody sent it to Mackenzie. So he's like, what's this? What's this list? And I was like, delete it now, immediately! Read it. Don't read it and you're deleted. Can you tell it to No, please don't. It's, it's not going to be supposed to be a surprise. Hello! We've this. come shopping in um, Boston and it's... Rented. Yeah, can we get inside? <laughs> This is not what we signed up for. Well, it's a bit disappointing, but it's very pretty, and I think we just need to shop. And we're determined to sightsee. Someone's coming in if we left shoulder hop. Yeah. Beautiful old brown scope. I really want the brown ones, but they don't have them in brown. So I'm just trying on for size, and then hope maybe all online. How are they feeling? Um, are they fitting? Are they fitting? Did you just go back to EastEnders? Well, I've got a glass. 
Let's get yes, I, think so. I might just try the slightly half a size up. Um, is this a sliding helping? Very, very moonwalk. Wait, wait, ready? I saw a photo of Boston Public Library before we came here and it was so beautiful so I wanted to check it out and as you can see we're not even in the main lobby yet it's so beautiful ready for an hour. Oh, I've been working emails, the world doesn't stop when you're doing your Facebook live makeups. Shut me so give! Dummy jam on head. Shut it, shut this so give! Pull me a ready then and shut this so give! Come on! Uh, I'm hungry. Shut it and this is the worst. We have to check out of the room. I'm turning you off. We need to shut it up. So we're um Filming about four DIYs today. Gorgeous Emily. Izzy behind the camera. We what, tend to work ahead of schedule, and so um, as it's Thanksgiving coming up and fall and even holidays, we put together some um, ideas for easy DIYs but chic ones that are a little bit different. That's the goal. That wreath for the front door. Poured some wine that I'm not going to drink, but it does it very pretty. Cool. Yay, it's a wrap! Yay. We are just off to an event with Creme de la Mer, um, which I'm very excited about because I think they're going to um, make customize me some foundation, which would be amazing because I'm always mixing up about five different colors to get the right color. Um, and for the observant of you, you will see Mummy Rose hand in the back. There she is, don't hide Mummy. Look at this. That is absolutely Absolutely stunning, and so is the view. Check this out. That's LA for you. The Kuai Prago, my babe Sabah. The cutest Prago ever. <laughs> yeah, we're not making froze today. No, we're not frozen anymore. Um, you're house hunting. How about this place? I mean, I think I'll pick it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. yeah. I'm mainly worried about Mackenzie trying to recreate those moves this afternoon in our pool, which she will do, won't you, babes? Give it a go. Including the swimming cap. So Come now on. we're going downstairs for um, a demonstration of the new makeup. I am Patrick Todd. I'm gonna be. Oh. oh, he does his own intro. Oh, wait, oh, okay. Without a cue, I love it. Okay. Wait, do you wanna do it? Yeah, go on. No, you okay, do. Hi guys, I am Patrick Todd. I'm gonna be color matching um, her today. Um, so, I feel like there are like a few ways to color match. When you're at the makeup store, you obviously you wanna ask the sales associate, but I personally think that you should always figure it out yourself because I feel like you know your skin like the most. Yeah. But it's always important to try maybe two to three shades right on to the chin. Um, and I'm trying the La Mer foundation today. So this is in the color Ivory. I feel like you have a little bit of makeup on, so it's... Yeah, so, a little bit. So but you always want to match it to your neck. Okay. So, and then this is the color Natural. This is just like a little bit... This, this has a little bit more of a pink undertone to it. I'm going to say no to that one. 
and then this is natural um, 22. So this has a little bit more of a golden undertone, which I personally, I like. I love foundations that have more of a golden undertone, but obviously if, if you have a pink undertone, then... I feel like I've got yellowy. Maybe gold is just a chic way of saying yellow. Let's say gold. <laughs> gold is chic. <laughs> Your chic, so legend, absolute worldwide ledge. Do you do people chase you down the street? No, I wish they did. Oh, I bet they do. <laughs> I bet they do. This foundation is a medium to full coverage. It it, it really it photographs amazing. I, I know that you're on camera a lot, so when you're on on the right carpet, seriously, like it blurs everything out. It blurs like wrinkles out. It blurs like pores out. It blurs fine lines out, and it oh. really it just. Some foundations look like blotchy on camera. This foundation looks flawless on camera. And okay. I'm not just saying that. You heard it here. I'm being serious. <laughs> this guy is right here. Um, it takes away pores. It takes away everything that you don't want. It has miracle broth in it. So it has like anti-aging properties in it that will just make you look broth. young. Broth is just everywhere broth. now. Bone broth. Bone broth. Now we're getting into makeup. Miracle broth. Oh my god. <laughs> have you ever tried bone broth? I did. I, I, I actually I just started um, drinking it because did you? One, one, one of my clients said that it'll make me skinny and everybody wants to be skinny. So. <laughs> it's not skinny, it's, it's wrinkles. Oh, it's wrinkles? It's collagen. Skinny and wrinkles. <laughs> it's um, six in the morning and I've just got up, snuck out of bed um, because it's. Um, our first wedding anniversary and Mackenzie loves this pumpkin spice um, like muffin mix so I'm being a good wifey and it's also really easy to cook and I'm making that for his brekkie as a surprise. About as sophisticated as my baking gets. Coconut oil, two eggs, some water. That is it to this mix. And the mix is gluten free. So it's kind of healthy. Cute little hot pan with that. Fashion week. <laughs> this is what I'm up to this season. Not bad. Not gonna lie. Quite impressed with myself. Hot pumpkin muffins. His favourite iced latte. And who says that girls can't buy boys roses? I don't think he's ever been bought flowers in his life, so right, I'm can I'm can hear him moving around upstairs. Oh my god. Happy anniversary, babes. What are they banana bread? No, they're pumpkin. Cinnamon. Pumpkin. Pump the one you like. So I'll test this. Let's see what words you put in here for me. Babes. So what do you think? Have you ever been bought flowers before? I don't know if I have. Mm. I think my mum bought me flowers. Mmm. These are good. I'm not sure what kind of words you've got for me. Do you know anything that'd be better? What? If the football was on today. But there's not much Premier League on at 7am on a Friday. Glad that would have made it all better. No, even better. <laughs> So we're going to a really good flower shop. I've been buying some bits and bobs and when I have free time putting some bits together and that's not easy to do when you live with someone, in this case my wife in that car I needs to get out of my way. So I got a book and ripped the pages out and now we're just making these flowers. But it was an old book that was needed to go in the bin because Louise loved books and his first anniversary paper. I didn't want to uh, do it to a brand new book. So now I've got loads of these. The next thing I made was this bad boy, which is a heart 
and I tore out a, uh, a magazine, uh, not something from Gucci, because she wants some Gucci loafers. So I want to buy some Gucci loafers, but instead of just having the loafers, because it's paper the anniversary, I thought I'd do it in paper. I'm not gonna lie, this is very time consuming, leaving a paper trail of cranes. <laughs> You're five minutes. Oh. Uh, Is that okay? Yeah. Why? Why are you? Why are you calling? Because I'm gonna be early in case you were doing something secret. No, babe. No secrets from you. Okay, Ben. All right. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Love you. Oh. Front door. Follows the origami trains. Up. In. And then bam! I just got my hair done, making the effort, and quite a cute dress. Actually got um, Kendall and Kylie shoes. Who knew? And this um, denim jacket by girlfriend denim, which I love. Right, I'm gonna go and pick up Mackenzie now for his surprise lunch. Little origami cranes. <gasps> cranes? Yeah, they're good for, for good luck and passion and prosperity or something. Asian thing. <laughs> you are so cute. Paper roses. Oh. <laughs> Already getting the shooks. <laughs> yeah, it's working. You're mysterious. Today. Mysterious boy, and I'm mysterious world. <laughs> I've got you your Gucci loafers. Oh, don't tell me that. That's the surprise. <laughs> but you should, you've ruined the surprise now. No, that is. <laughs> Thank you. So we've come. <laughs> Beverly Hills to a, a, a special restaurant. They messed up my order, and yours is a very nice. No, mine's quite nice. It's all right. Not the best lunch. Oh well, we tried. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, can I blow yours out as well? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, you've taken them off. Yeah. So you don't like any of the food. Maybe, I haven't decided. Oh, okay, let me think. Yeah. Boots with a fur. This, you, how long have you wanted these boots? It's been a... <laughs> Over a year. And now I've brought you here. On TBC. To Saint Laurent, to get your fancy boots. I'm trying to talk to you. So, you didn't get the boots? No, I just thought... <laughs> I don't know if they were channeling me. Anyway, there's Brito Drive. We have had a lovely anniversary. Happy anniversary. Mwah.